Hello, and what is going on today, guys? Tomcat here, and today we are back in Spindar's Mudrunner, taking a look at some more mods. Now, this is a three-pack of trucks by Zidon, and they are uh, they are all Tatras. They're all 8x8s, eight eight, um, and the one that I am so pumped to drive is the truck trial version. We have a standard one, an army uh, version with, a, like, a, a covered top at the back, um, and then we also have, uh, like I said before, the truck trial version. So... I am pumped to try out the trial version. I really, really love these trucks. They're crazy. Um, we're going to go ahead and see. Oh, yes. Truck trial platform. And really, like, there's not a ton that... There's not really a ton to do with these trucks modification-wise. But that's okay because they make up for it in capabilities. They really, really do. Um, they, they make up for it in, in capabilities and in power. Or at least as I remember them from the first game. Now, if they're anything like they were in the first game, they're going to be absolutely insane. And if you don't know what truck trials are, look it up because it is some of the craziest off-roading you will ever see. I'm not joking. It is ridiculous some of the things that they put these huge 8x8s through. It's, it's nuts, guys. So, we're on the Proving Ground map. And we're gonna actually we're gonna take it up we're gonna take it up a couple different hills we're gonna do a little bit of climbing with it um, but we're also gonna kind of see how it does across the board. I was actually kind of surprised at how uh, high was not as high is not as fast as I expected it to be. I expected it to be a good bit faster than that, but I mean that's fine. We'll figure it out from there. Oh, we've got a pretty much a full interior. The steering wheel doesn't turn, but that's that's fine. I mean we've still got the in-game the in-game dash. Uh, the, the spin dark mutter or dash actually in the game so uh, that's that's cool in its in its own right doing a little bit of hill climbing and I know this isn't really that that steep but it's steep enough to get an idea of how this truck does uphill especially with it being the trials version they're back in auto. God, so high is the equivalent of second. That is ridiculous. You'd think it'd be a lot, you know, a lot higher than that. Or a lot faster, really. Alright, let's go for the water. And I'm curious to see if it will stay in fifth gear, or if it's just gonna, like, drown it. Or, well, or if it's just gonna, like, slow way down, go back to first, and then make me crawl out. Looks like it's gonna do just that. But it, it makes it easy to get into high, though. I will say that. It makes it really easy to get the truck into high range. Now, as far as actual water fording, I'm not sure. We're going to try it now. Hey, I mean, we're moving. We're moving. Wow, damn, this thing can swim. That's awesome. Dude, that's legit. This thing has some really good water fording capabilities, especially considering the fact that we're in high and we're not like we're not spinning a bunch. We're not like losing losing traction all over the place. It's genuinely doing very well. But it's time now to try out uh, one of the other versions, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and go right to the army version. But before I do that, I have a bit of an experiment that I would like to try kind of a weird experiment and I don't know why I'm so interested in seeing if it'll work but I'm gonna try and pitch this up on the no that's not gonna work at least I don't think it is the front overhang is way yeah yeah no there's no way there's absolutely no way now I'm curious actually you know what I'm gonna drive the military one later but the standard one. I wonder if it has, like, a bunch more uh, available upgrades. So, let's see. Garage. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. Cargo fuel and repairs. Uh, cargo garage 2. Carriage logs, repairs, and garage. Whoa, that's awesome. Expedition tent, fireproof exhaust, forklift, front plow. Okay, this is, this is really cool now. Let's actually see real quick. I want to see... The forklift on the front, and then you can do a carriage with a crane as well, or a long log cart. Ah, utility trailer, utility semi-trailer, rescue carriage. This is really freaking cool. Um, I'm going to come back and mess with the with the um, the rescue carriage later, 
but I want you guys, I want to try something. Uh, uh oh. Oh, I see what the problem is. Now we're good. You know what? We probably should make, we, we should pull the garage back up because I want to put a, uh, log crane carriage, maintenance, big repairs. Let's put a garage logs repair, all that stuff, like, on the back, just to help with the weight difference. And then now, come back out of the garage and finally drive. Yo, you can see the chain moving. That is so cool. That is so cool. Alright, let's try medium logs. We'll try, we'll try two. Actually, we'll try three and see what happens. But I think it'll probably only be able to hold two. That's my, that's my personal opinion. But like I said, I've been surprised before in this game. So I don't know what it's, uh, I don't know how it's going to turn out. And you know what? Actually, this first person view makes it super easy to line up. Should be lined up ish. Oh, that's like almost perfect. All right, so we need to put we need to put the forks in position. Oh God, that is uh, that is ridiculous. If we oh, I whoa that what. So it splits apart. And that's as high as it'll go, seriously? That's it? Well, I guess... I guess that's it then. If we go down, or if we go up, it just goes all the way down. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let's see what happens. Oh man, it can't do it. It can't. Oh, that's. That sucks. Oh my god. Yeah, no, it's too. It's like, it's weird. Like, it, that is too tall. But. Here, you know what? You know what? You know what? Hold on. There's one more idea that I have to put it at the right height. Oh my god, that is going nuts. That's really weird. Alright, let me try and reposition again and see if I can actually, maybe this time, get everything to work as it should and get at least one of those logs on these forks. Whoa, they curve down. That makes, like, no sense at all. Yeah, that, that doesn't really work. I, I'm, I'm willing at this point to say that that really doesn't work. So, uh, let's switch to the army variant. And then pull up the garage and see what's available for it. Whoa, okay. Got actually a decent amount of stuff. Cargo fuel and repairs, forklift, front plow, garage car, garage trailer. I was going to say, let's try the, um, the front plow. Really, all this is for is for, like, pushing stuff. So, I mean, you're not going to use it too much in, like standard logging, but I mean, maybe if you were trying to, like, round up a group of things, I mean, like, actually, this is a good example right here. These sticks. I mean, and I know that this is kind of a little bit overkill for moving sticks, but I mean, it's spin tires. See, that's very easy to use. 
Very easy. Oh yeah, okay, so you can really use that, like, to your... You can use it to your advantage, and it works as, like, as it should. And that's as low as it goes. Alright, well, if that's as low as it goes, then that's as low as it goes. And it... The truck has to be facing, like, perfectly flat for it to work. That's... That's the trick. That's the key. I mean, it will move stuff, though. Like, look, it'll move land. That's awesome. Dude! Will it take this stump out? That's the that's the, the, the curious curious part about this. Because if it, if it will, then we've got ourselves a land-clearing vehicle. Oh, dude, look, it'll actually, like... It'll actually kind of dig up the landscape. Like, it'll properly push the ground out of the way and, like, kind of uproot everything. That is so cool. So, dude, you could, like, you could kind of almost build, if you wanted to build, like, a campsite, you could use this truck to build yourself a campsite, and you could actually clear it out. That is ridiculously cool. Ridiculously cool. Take it right. Get some of these bushes out of the way. Oh, there's a, you know why? There's a, there's a fallen tree over there. Yeah, that's kind of in the way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dude, look at that, though. This thing does work. This thing absolutely, like, will get dirty and do work. That is so cool. On, use that blade. A little more, a little bit more clearing. That worked. Eh, it worked okay. Didn't really dig up as much in the beginning as I did before, but come on, a little bit more of a scoop this time. Yeah, the the, the front of the truck has to be like pressing into the ground for the blade to work, but when it does, oh man, does it work. Look at that. Like, that's properly done right there. That's awesome. I, I really do applaud this thing, actually. I really, really do uh, for the fact that it can actually, you know, be used as, you know, a digging attachment, like a blade that you actually dig stuff up with. That is, that is actually probably one of the coolest things I've seen in Mudrunner uh, so far, as far as mods go. I mean, that that gets really good marks from me, and I highly, highly, like, approve of that. Let's get that off now. Cargo fuel repairs, and let's go do some more exploring. Get the garage out of there. Back it up. Love having an interior view, especially in a truck this big. It's like... Having an interior view in a truck this big is really cool because, especially in a mod truck, to give you this massive area to look around in, um, even though you don't really need to see too much on the in on the inside of the vehicles, it's still really fun to have that as an option because when you have it as an option, you kind of start to think, hey, I could use the interior view. And then you start using the interior view if you, if you ever need any more challenge or you want a little bit more out of the game or out of like a truck or something. Oh boy. Oh boy. Started off a little sketchy, but I think we can I think we can manage some sort of climb out of this. Oh yeah. Oh that works awesome. Uh oh. Oh boy, come on. Holy crap! This thing really does rock crawl. Let me back it up to a different... Whoa! Well, right after I said it really does rock crawl, we ended up in that position. But the truck will start. 
And because of the fact that the truck starts, I may end up- Oh, come on! Yeah, no, this truck is not starting anymore. Hmm. Well, like, I think overall my favorite version is still the truck trial version. Because it's fast, it's fun, I love the design on it, I love the color. Uh, everything about this truck just works, and it works so well. And I think this pack is is a really, really great mod pack if you're especially if you're picky with mods. You know, because if you're like if you're picky with mods like I am, and like in terms of at least at least like um, mods that you would use in your off time, I really do think that this could be a uh, I, I honestly think this could be a really good mod pack for you. Um, because it's three trucks, it's three trucks in one shot, actually, and, let me see if that's working properly, nope, okay, um, it's three trucks in one shot, and they're all really, really, really good trucks, that's the other thing, is they're all really, really, really good trucks, really great to drive, really easy to drive, but also they have a ton of grip and a ton of power, and they're, they're just a blast. So, this is definitely my favorite out of the three, and I hope you guys enjoyed this quick mod review. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like, tell me in the comments down below what y'all thought of it, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I'll see y'all next time. Talk to you guys later.